Well, as we mentioned, recreational marijuana will not be on the ballot in Florida in the November election, but it could be done through legislative means. On Monday, Democratic representative in Florida's legislature, Carlos G. Smith, introducing a bill that would allow a person to possess up to two and a half ounces of marijuana and expand existing medical marijuana dispensaries to include recreational sales. Now, for more on this, we are joined by State Representative uh, Smith, uh, Congressman, this bill you introduced is strikingly similar to a bill brought forth by your Republican colleague in the Florida State Senate, uh, Jeff Brandis. That's why, right. Why push for the bill? Well, the reality is, is that Florida has had draconian cannabis laws on the books for far too long. Uh, we made a good step in 2016 when voters approved legal medical cannabis, but the reality is, is that the state of Florida, according to FDLE, arrests anywhere between 40 and 43,000 Floridians every single year mm. for misdemeanor level possession. Uh, adult use cannabis is coming. It's just not a, it's a matter of time. That's why I brought this legislation forward with my Republican colleague in the Senate, Jeff Brandis, who really has been a reformer on issues related to cannabis and criminal justice, so that we can come together in a bipartisan way to legalize cannabis finally for responsible adult use for those over the age of 21, and so that we can take down the vertical integration requirement for the industry currently uh, medically uh, in Florida right now, we have a cartel-like system for medical cannabis where only big cannabis industry uh, companies can come in and grow, cultivate, distribute, and sell. We want to level the playing field to bring small businesses into the industry so that, for example, minorities who have historically uh, been disproportionately negatively impacted by draconian cannabis laws that we've had in the books can actually enter the market and they would also be able to benefit from this growing industry. Uh, well, we're not seeing widespread support or at least support that would indicate enough signatures for Make It Legal Florida. Uh, the organization failed to collect enough signatures on its petition. Um, they didn't Correct. make the threshold of 766,000. If there is support in the state, why are we not seeing it manifest in that way? Well, for many reasons. First, the ballot initiative, uh, they essentially closed up shop because they ran out of time to collect the signatures that they need. One of the problems is that last year in the Florida legislature, the GOP controlled House and Senate passed a bill that actually made it harder for that exact a group of individuals gathering these petitions to qualify. So the state has intentionally made it harder for any of these ballot initiatives to make it on the ballot. Second, uh, the reality is, again, we do have a conservative majority in the Florida House and Florida Senate. And while this is a bipartisan bill, we still have a lot of work to do to convince our Republican colleagues who are hesitant uh, to expand access to cannabis for adult use, mm -hmm. uh, but the majority of Floridians do support it. We have seen overwhelming support, sometimes upwards of 60 and 70 percent in the state of Florida. And again, this is yeah. just a, a question of, of, of when, in a responsible way, this legislation actually also going to allow for the expungement of low-level crimes uh, related to cannabis as well. So we're really putting together this comprehensive legislation so that lawmakers will have the opportunity to finally take action as they absolutely should do. Okay, Representative, explain uh, the business case here. What has been the investment so far uh, that we've seen in the state with medical marijuana legal? And what do you anticipate it could be with recreational legalization? Well, we obviously see a major opportunity uh, for the industry to grow with adult use. The problem with the current medical cannabis law that we have is there is a requirement for vertical integration, which means the state law says to be a license holder for medical cannabis in Florida, you must uh, be able to provide that seed to sale, meaning they have to be the grower, the cultivator, the distributor, and the retailer. The impact that that has is it creates a monopoly or cartel-like situation where only these golden ticket holders can be the sole providers of medical cannabis in the market that keeps small businesses out. We do not, so so, I don't support that structure. That's why in this bill, we're taking that structure down and allowing for small businesses to come in, which by the way, will also bring cost down 
either for medical patients, if we did it for the medical industry, and for uh, customers in an adult use environment. Who, who are you hearing from that's opposed to the legalization of, of marijuana in Florida? Who's lobbying against it and why? Well, you basically have the, the same war on drug types who have made giant contributions to the Republican Party of Florida, if I'm being honest, the Mel Semblers of the world, uh, who really just have a hard line approach uh, and an outdated approach to how we approach cannabis. The reality is this, are there risks involved with cannabis use? Yes, of course there's risks involved and implications involved, just like with any other product that's out there like alcohol. The reality is, is the best way that we can keep uh, our state safe and also frankly keep it out of the hands of minors is to regulate it, to legalize it and finally be able to have government oversight over this product. But what we have to understand also is that cannabis has never been responsible for a single fatal overdose almost in the history of recorded medicine. So some of the arguments that my Republican colleagues who are opposed to this continue to make are really not based in fact. They're mostly based right. on stigma and fear. And that's what this is about right now. Having bipartisan legislation is the perfect opportunity for us to educate uh, everyone on the issue of cannabis so that we can make an informed decision for our state that will not only help grow the economy, grow revenue, and also keep Floridians safe from the dangers of the illicit market. Florida State Representative Carlos G. Smith, thanks so much for joining us on Cheddar Shakers today. We appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it.